Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the Toughen Up Women's Phantom Weight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of one win and three losses. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Krav Maga, Las Vegas, Nevada. Cheyenne, the Hawaiian Wrecking Machine, Hinzi. Her opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of one win and no loss. Fighting out of Uprising MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. She is Alondra Romero. The referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Joe Sullivan. Joe Sullivan, the third man in the, uh, excuse me, the third human being in the cage tonight. <laughs> of course, we have two female fights. Uh, two female fighters here fighting. We have Cheyenne Hinsey, and she's wearing black trunks with red trim, black top. Yeah. Alondra Romero, Whoa. black tights, white top, and they are going oh at it. Oh, they're they're not, not messing, messing around. around. Zero to 90. This is the one thing I do love about women's ring. <laughs> they are clinching now, exchanging knees, exchanging punches. They're all over the place. Oh, hey, nice. Hey, wow. Hey. Oh, oh, Romero trying to go with a hip toss right there. Yeah, almost landed it. You know, you could see in their body language before the fight even started. Yeah. They couldn't wait to get at it. Yeah, yeah. Remember looking for the ankle pick right there. It was like two pit bulls being held back, right? And the next, uh -huh. next thing you know, they were let go. All right. Not that I would know anything about that, but I imagine that's how two pit bulls would collide. And I want to apologize. Pit. I called her Alejandra. It's Alondra, right? Alondra Romero. So I'm sorry about that, Alondra. With the purple hair. Oh, Looks cool. Sorry. I like no, it. You saw all this. I like it. Looks yeah, cool. I apologize. Once it's her. Alondra <laughs> Romero pushing up Cyan Hinzi against the cage. Remember, these are two-minute rounds, so whatever you do, you got to get going. You take the fight to the ground, you got to get going. If you're up against the cage, you got to get that takedown. She has a nice uh, job doing that double uh, underhook right there. Looks like she's trying to go for a foot sweep with the left leg. And I think it's painfully obvious that uh, a Romero is the more interested of the two parties taking the fight to the ground. Yes. Yeah, it seems yes. like it. Yeah. Although she seemed pretty comfortable when they were striking there in the middle. Oh, nice ankle pick. Oh, but look, looks like um, she might not. Oh, tip it around, yeah. So Romero is now on top of Cheyenne Hinsey. Now she's in her, excuse me, half guard. I was about to say uh, full guard, but she's in half guard. And, and if she can keep it here, to... she's probably going to cement the round because uh, the striking was pretty even, and she controlled it up against the cage. Now got the takedown, and look at her. She's looking to pass. Yeah, she did a good job doing that knee slide straight to side control. Very slick. But uh, 20 seconds left here. It'd be hard to Romero control that position top. from that side of the fence. I think to finish out the round, maybe a couple strikes, and then you go back and regroup uh -huh. for round two. And there they are. Oh, How that kick that almost kick. landed, and that would have been a downed opponent. I think she missed it. Looks like Romero's a little wobbly there. Could be that they're just both exhausted. Holy cow, what a uh. pace here at Tough Enough. Amateur fighting championships, the future stars of MMA. Gorgeous George with the goes here from the MMA Junkie Radio Show. Joined by UFC veteran Ulysses Gomez. He of the flying arm bar. Uh, popular, po 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 popularity... What am I trying to say here? I don't know. Fame. You're famous for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Anthony, I got your arm back if you want it, bro. Ooh. So why do you guys have that round? Uh, Alondra Romero. You know, I, I really liked what they both did. I mean, it was 50-50 while they were on the on the feet, but she got that that uh, trip, and then she passed her guard. Um, she finished strong. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Alondra Romero. I, I gotta go with Romero as well. Because the second half of the fight, I'm assuming for yes, both of you guys. Yes, yes. I agree. All right, let's see. Alondra Romero of the two is sucking wind. That's for sure. Her mouthpiece is barely hanging in there. Cheyenne uh, Hinsey is a little bit more relaxed, but we'll see how this round goes. There's still two more to go. No touch of gloves here. Oh, oh yeah, you can oh. already tell. Oh, nice knee by Hinsley Romero, I don't know that she has much gas oh. left in the Nice tank. takedown straight to the side control. Very, very nice takedown. Executed nicely. Now I wonder if she's going to try, try mounting or just kind of hold the position and ride the clock a little bit and, and get her second win. Yeah, she should try that. Right now she is inside control. Is she going knee on belly? She looks, looks like, like she might she try to force to. him out. Yeah. For only having one fight, her fight IQ is really good right now. Yeah, you're right, because Cheyenne Hinsey, 1-3, so this is her fifth fight. Alondra Romero is only 1-0, but she's uh, very, very crafty there with a lot of the techniques. She almost landed the hip toss. 
She's had a nice clinch. The takedowns have been nice. She's and controlled the top position this. very well, too. Yeah. So we're almost at the one-minute mark, and she's definitely controlling this fight and definitely this round. Yeah, from this position, it would be hard for Hensley to get up because uh, her she needs to put her back on the on the fence so she can wall walk. But looks like she's going to try scooting just a little bit. She's going inch by inch. But the problem with this is there's only one minute left in the round. So by the time she gets up, the round's already over. Right here, look for Romero to step over straight from out. I think from here on out, if Cheyenne Hensley can get back to her feet, she should not even engage anything that has to do with the ground. Well, she's trying to go for a key mark from that position. Hensley is, but she's not going to be able to get it. Alondra Romero again, black tights, white top, Cheyenne Hinsey. She's got the black tights, uh, black trunks, excuse me, with the red trim, and she's got a black top. Oh, is she like, taking her back? Uh, well, she, no. Okay. It was, looks like for a second she's yeah, trying to get, sure get the hook over, but. She's on one. Oh, she oh. put her, she reversed, she swept her. Oh, no. Oh, we Romero has her back with now. 10 seconds left. She just takes her back. Off. Can she sink in the rear naked choke? It doesn't look like she's going to have enough time. But well, boy, the crowd went Time. nuts when they recognized Alondra Romero's technique. All right, round two in the books. Guys, how do you have it scored? I have it 2 nothing, Alondra Romero. Uh, we're going to need a lot from Cheyenne Hensey here in this last round. She's going to need a finish. Yeah, the second round seemed pretty one-sided for Romero. I mean, she took her down, mounted her, had her back, you know. Um, Hensey had a, a couple of seconds for the end of the round, but Romero 2-0. Well, let's see what the Hawaiian wrecking machine can do. But she uh, she can't she cannot hit the ground, but she's got to use some strikes. Romero looks Otherwise, she's, she's not going to win this fight. Yeah, no, Romero looks pr pretty exhausted right now. It'd be nice to see if Hensley comes out with a knee to start the round. Without that uh, push kick from the first round. I like the purple hair. Have we had a combatant with purple hair in the uh, in any of the major organizations? I know Judy that Brownie? Well, that was in the show, right? Judy, Bra Judy, Judy Brownie? Brownie? I think he had one in the show. He, he went purple? I don't remember. Well, Michael that. Haynes. Uh, yeah, J Justin Haynes. Did he really? Yeah, Let's when he go, fought uh, Michael Bluton. I think Kira Batara has done it. Has she? I, I know that so. Louis Godno rocked the green, and yeah. of course many have done the blonde. We've seen that. Uh, Mayhem had the orange or red. Randall Mentito. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Round three. Almost a touch of gloves, but no touch of gloves. Here we go. A kick by Romero. She's probably hoping that uh, Hinsey would catch it and take her to the ground, but Hinsey's not biting. Oh, well, Hinsey nice needs to keep it up here. She Do needs to control job. the distance and not get taken down. Definitely get her back off the fence. See, that's some nice work by Romero. I think she knows she doesn't want to stand with her. And here she goes, almost getting the fight to the ground. Hinsey definitely needs to get some underhooks or something going because so otherwise she's going for a ride. She needs to turn her and, and break away from this position, not, not engage. Right, and there you go. That's what's going to happen. And she separated instead of maybe throwing that, that, that knee, I think she would have been okay. Yeah, well, it looks like she's trying to stuff her triangle from this position right here, though. She has an overhook and bicep control, but uh, Romero has a good job getting good posture. Well, there's about a minute 15 left, so Hensley needs to set something up, create some space, and get up. And she look at Romero. Up. It's so exhausted. She just lets her get up with no problem. Well, let's see if Hensley's needs uh, to start Look, and Hensley's right now there. starting to open up. Romero is really, really dying out there. Mouthpiece is hanging out, but boy, does she have a lot of heart. Yep. They are swinging away. Oh, it looks like Romero's not possibly not interested in continuing. There's less than a minute, though. She needs to hold off. She wants to win this fight, though. There are 50 Hensley's seconds left, hands. and Hensley is putting the pressure on Alondra Romero. Hensley keeps delivering punch after punch, left after right. The crowd is going nuts. They're recognizing that this is Hinzi's only shot. Alondra Romero, however, there's 30 seconds left space. in here. I think uh, Romero caught a little second win here. She sure did, man. It looked like she almost wanted out, guys. Did you see that? Yeah. About 45 seconds into the fight, she looked back towards her corner, and it almost looked like she wanted to, the rest to stop. What is happening here? Neutral position. Oh. They both got to stand up. Looks like he's going to restart them in the middle of the cage with 10 seconds left, but they both got to get up first. Wow, if she can just stand on her two feet. She one will point win. for grabbing the fence. Yep, one point for grabbing the fence. She is exhausted, Alondra Romero. Is this safe, guys? Looks like she's crying. Wow. Nope, she's good. Does she realize where she's at or what's happening? Right to fight. Cheyenne Hinsey is definitely ready no, to fight. It looks like she's uh, saying, oh, no, she's first. good. She's up. All right, here we, here go. we go. She's got 10 seconds. She's got 10 seconds to finish this. Romero better get her hands up. Here we go, Cheyenne Hinsey throwing oh, punches. Romero answers back. They are nice. socking each other. Knees, punches. Wow, what a finish to the fight. I don't think I've ever seen a fight like this, guys. 
A lot of heart wow. by Bo Clayton. <laughs> are, are we allowed to clap? Wow, that look at that. Fight. Exciting. That really was a fun fight. Holy cow, did both ladies dig deep. Look at that. That's a picture right there. Somebody grabs that. Oh, my God. Robbie, get that picture. Robbie, get that picture. Look at that. Oh, she got up. Wow. Wow, what a great fight by Cheyenne Hinsey a lot of heart and Alondra Romero. I, I, I honestly think Romero may have been loopy, like she didn't know where she was at. or, or It seemed kind of like she was uh, that Chandler and uh, Will Brooks moment, right? Exactly, yeah. 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 She had a moment like that in round two for just a second, and then uh, it kind of Well, came even around, in the first round when she, got, she almost got up kick, uh -huh. you know, so, you know, but we'll see. Um, right, how do you guys have it? Let's figure out the math here. Hinsey came, uh, came back to win the round, mm -hmm. so she's going to win the round, in my opinion, 10-8, mm -hmm. and she's going to offset the two rounds that she lost, we may have a draw. There, there's, there's the replay there. Look at this. Hinsey lands a big right hand. Romero answers, barely missing with her right hand, barely missing with the left. Wow. Yeah, going off uh, the scorecards, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to being a draw just because they, they uh, directed a point in the third round. Great show of sportsmanship there between both ladies. But you, you understand what I'm saying? I think, yeah. I think we are going to get a draw. Yeah. yeah. That point deduction cost uh, Romero. Anyway, we're going to make it official by sending it to our good friend, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of absolute war, we have a unanimous draw. Let's hear it for Cheyenne.